Welcome to Novel Hub Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. August 12, 2025, a day that changed everything. The world awoke to a new reality, one that would forever alter the course of human history. As the sun rose over continents and oceans, a sense of anticipation filled the air, as if the universe itself was holding its breath. For centuries we asked, are we alone? Generations have gazed up at the night sky, searching for meaning in the endless tapestry of stars, wondering if somewhere out there, another form of life was looking back. Today we know the answer is no. The question that haunted philosophers, scientists and dreamers alike has finally been answered. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye in the cosmos, has captured definitive evidence of a biological atmosphere on a distant world. Its instruments, peering farther than ever before, have revealed secrets hidden in the light of another sun. This is not speculation. This is fact. The data is clear, the analysis rigorous, and the implications staggering. On Kepler 186F, orbiting a red star 500 light years away, the chemical signatures of life have been found. This distant world, once just a point of light, now holds the promise of a living ecosystem. The news swept across the globe, igniting every corner of society. In every language, on every screen, the story spread. Humanity was no longer alone. Scientists watched as spectral data revealed the unmistakable fingerprints of a living world. The colors and patterns in the data told a story billions of years in the making. These lines, gases in an alien atmosphere can only be explained by biology. Methane, oxygen and other compounds danced in a pattern that could not be produced by mere geology or chemistry alone. The search for extraterrestrial life has moved from fiction to fact. What was once the realm of science fiction of dreams and imagination has become our new reality. We have crossed a threshold from which there is no turning back. The universe has revealed a new chapter, and we are its witnesses. This is more than a scientific milestone. It is a moment of profound connection. Strangers embraced, children pointed to the stars, and a sense of unity swept across nations. For all of history, Earth was our only example of a living planet. Our blue world, fragile and unique, seemed alone in the cosmic ocean. Now we see a distant shore. A new world beckons, its mysteries inviting us to imagine what life might be like under a different sun. The laws that gave rise to life here are not unique, they are universal. The same chemistry, the same physics, the same spark that ignited life on Earth has kindled it elsewhere. The universe is not empty, it is predisposed to be alive. Life, it seems, is woven into the very fabric of the cosmos, waiting to be discovered. And we are the generation that found the first proof. Our curiosity, our technology, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge have brought us to this extraordinary moment. This discovery redefines our place in the cosmos. We are no longer just observers, we are participants in a living universe connected to worlds beyond our own. We are no longer an island of life. The cosmic ocean is dotted with other living worlds, each with its own story to tell. Today, we are part of a living universe. The journey has just begun, and the possibilities are as infinite as the stars themselves. To grasp this discovery, you must understand the tool behind it, the James Webb Space Telescope. JWST is a masterpiece, a time machine and a chemical lab in space. Launched in 2021, it orbits a million miles from Earth, shielded and cold, perfect for its mission. JWST sees in infrared, revealing secrets invisible to our eyes. When Kepler 186F passes in front of its star, JWST captures the faint starlight filtered through its atmosphere. Its golden mirror and sensitive instruments split this light revealing a barcode of molecules water, carbon dioxide, methane, oxygen. This is transit spectroscopy, reading the air of another world. Before JWST we could only guess at exoplanet atmospheres. Now we can identify the subtle chemical signatures of life. JWST is not just a telescope, it is our bridge to other worlds. And it has delivered the most spectacular discovery imaginable. Meet Kepler 186F, a world that has captured the imagination of scientists, and space enthusiasts alike. This remarkable planet sits at the heart of our story, representing a new frontier in the search for life beyond Earth. Discovered in 2014 by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, Kepler 186F made headlines as the first Earth-sized planet ever found orbiting within the habitable zone of another star, a region where conditions might be just right for life as we know it. 
The habitable zone is the sweet spot around a star where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, making Kepler-186f a prime target for further exploration and study. Kepler-186f orbits a red dwarf star, a type of star that is smaller, cooler, and much more common than our Sun, making up the majority of stars in our galaxy. Its year is just 130 Earth days long, and it receives only about a third of the sunlight that our planet does, casting its surface in a dim, perpetual twilight. Despite being only 10% larger than Earth, Kepler-186f is believed to be rocky, with a solid surface that could, in theory, support oceans, mountains, and perhaps even life. For over a decade, Kepler-186f remained just a faint point of light in the vastness of space, a tantalizing world full of potential, but shrouded in mystery. Scientists around the globe dreamed of peering deeper, of studying its atmosphere and searching for signs of habitability or even life. With the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, that dream finally became a reality, opening a new era of exoplanet exploration. Astronomers watched intently as Kepler-186f passed in front of its star, capturing the faint, precious starlight that filtered through its atmosphere. For a few brief hours, humanity glimpsed the air of another Earth, analyzing its composition and searching for clues about its environment. The data collected was groundbreaking, offering insights that would challenge our understanding of distant worlds and our place in the cosmos. Kepler-186f was no longer just a distant candidate, it had become a revelation, a symbol of discovery, and a beacon of hope in our search for life beyond Earth. The spectrum from Kepler-186f was breathtaking, the first signal water vapor, evidence of a moist living world. Next carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas essential for climate stability. These findings suggested oceans, lakes, and a stable climate. Then came methane, a gas on Earth mostly produced by life. While geology can make methane, biology is far more prolific. But the real shock was the presence of oxygen. Oxygen is highly reactive. It shouldn't last unless constantly replenished. On Earth, only life keeps oxygen levels high. The combination of methane and oxygen was electrifying. This was not just a habitable world, it was a living one. The evidence was clear, the implications profound. We had found the chemical signature of life. Oxygen and methane together are a chemical paradox. They destroy each other quickly, both must be constantly produced. On Earth life maintains this balance. Plants make oxygen, microbes make methane. Without life, both would vanish. Finding both on Kepler-186f is a fingerprint of a living biosphere. Other explanations, volcanoes, photochemistry, fall short. Only a global ecosystem can explain this disequilibrium. The simplest answer, Kepler-186f is not just habitable but inhabited. We are witnessing the breath of an alien world. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary proof. Scientists triple-check the data repeating JWST observations with different teams and instruments. The signals, water, carbon dioxide, methane, oxygen, remained undeniable. Next, they tried to explain the findings without life. Computer models tested every geological and atmospheric process. No scenario could produce both methane and oxygen in such abundance. Exotic theories failed, the puzzle pieces wouldn't fit. After months of scrutiny, only one explanation remained, life. The data could not be explained by geology or chemistry alone. Kepler, 186F, is alive. With proof of life, a new question emerged, is it intelligent? Scientists searched for techno signatures, signs of technology. JWST scanned for industrial pollutants, none were found. Infrared mapping showed no unnatural heat signatures, no cities, no industry. Radio telescopes listened for signals, the silence was profound. Kepler 186F's air is pristine, its energy natural, its skies quiet. The evidence points to a world teeming with life, but not technology. We have found a living planet, not a technological one. What would it be like to stand on Kepler 186F? Picture a vast, dark ocean under a dusky orange sky. The red dwarf star glows dimly, casting long shadows. The world is in perpetual twilight, the air thick with moisture. Vegetation might be deep purple or black evolved to absorb red light. Strange creatures graze on alien foliage, life thrives in the oceans. The climate is stable, the weather gentle. It is both familiar and profoundly alien, a true sister to Earth. This world has its own story, its own evolution, its own solitude. Now it is a destination, a living world revealed. The confirmation of life on Kepler 186F is a turning point for humanity. For generations we have gazed at the stars and wondered if we were alone. Now that question has been answered. 
the universe has revealed that life is not unique to Earth, but a phenomenon that can arise elsewhere, under distant suns. Our cosmic loneliness has ended. We are part of a living universe. Across continents and cultures, people are united in awe and wonder, sharing a moment that transcends borders and languages. The realization that we are not alone changes how we see ourselves and our place in the cosmos. This discovery will ignite a new era of exploration and science. Humanity's curiosity is awakened as never before. We will reach farther, dream bigger, and invest in technologies that will take us to new worlds. New telescopes will be built, and the search for life will become central to human endeavor. Our scientific priorities will shift, focusing on understanding life's diversity and the conditions that allow it to flourish. Philosophers, artists, and theologians will grapple with the implications. Our myths, beliefs, and creative visions will evolve as we contemplate our place in a universe teeming with possibilities. We are not the pinnacle of creation, but one branch on a vast cosmic tree. Life's story is far grander than we imagined, with countless chapters yet to be discovered. This knowledge may unite us, reminding us of our shared home. The boundaries that once divided us seem less important when we realize we are all travelers on the same tiny world. The conflicts that divide us seem small against the backdrop of a living cosmos. Our differences pale in comparison to the vastness and wonder that surrounds us. We all share this fragile cradle of life. The discovery of life elsewhere reminds us to cherish and protect the only home we have ever known. The discovery of another cradle reminds us how precious our own is. It is a call to stewardship, to care for our planet, and to seek harmony with all life, here and beyond. We are Earthlings, part of a greater story. Our journey is just beginning, and the universe invites us to write the next chapter together. The universe is speaking, and for the first time we are listening. Every signal, every discovery, brings us closer to understanding our cosmic neighbors. A new chapter in the human story has begun. The dawn of this era promises hope, unity, and endless possibilities for all of humanity.